What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure images for you guys. We have Elite Series 94, and we have some comments down below on some of these figures that I wanted to dive into with you guys. So you guys know Elite Series 94, not a terrible set. You know, we're going to dive into the different details of the set, talk about the set, and just kind of discuss it here. We have three first time in the lines in this set. We got some good figures in the set, some figures I'm looking forward to. And then we have some figures that have some question marks that we're going to get into as well. And we have a collector's edition to talk about and a chase figure to talk about so let's go ahead and dive into these images and discuss everything that i want to talk about man so starting out first with elite series 94 let's start off with the figure that i'm probably the most looking forward to and that is going to be the white gear edge we have the white gear edge right here very interesting looking figure a lot of details a lot of things missing from this figure even mattel going as far as removing some of the details from the back of the packaging so that we don't notice or that people don't notice that it is missing details so i have some different screenshots here so you guys can see what the figure really looks like or what the gear actually looked like versus what it looks like on the back of the packaging so you guys can see there on the rated r logo on the edge gear he is missing the box around the r and the r is like tilted a lot more it seems like so i, I don't know exactly what's going on there and you guys will notice on the front of the packaging or on the front of the figure there is no square there so they did go ahead and like make that known there to remove that square so that we wouldn't see it or whatever the case is there not a huge deal but it is missing it something that i may add in surgery not exactly sure but one thing i am going to do with this figure is we're going to have to switch the torso you guys know that on his ultimate edition and his recent elites the elite series 83 figure they haven't given him the proper details man he's been lacking his ripped up torso this man got in the gym he did all the work he consistently worked on himself and what did they give him nothing they they strip it right away from him he doesn't have the ripped up torso i think if you put an elite seth rollins or I, I say not elite seth rollins just because you'd have to remove the you know the tattoo on the back there but the elite cesaro torso i do believe from like elite 23 or elite 33 one of those would look beautiful on the figure i have fixed up a couple edges here and there and it makes the figure look a ton better it's honestly incredible how much better the figure looks this figure is going to look incredible, especially if you put it up to your Randy Orton figure. It does look like they actually gave him the hand tape on his right hand, so that's surprising. I remember we had to do that ourselves last time. And they gave him the white ring on his... Uh on his wedding finger there or his you know his wedding band is on his hand there so that is really awesome as well the jacket is stuck in the matt cardona mattel jacket pose like oh my god that goddamn fucking old school mattel stuck in that pose jacket gonna... so you know we gotta plug it in there and let everybody know about it we saw this head sculpt a little bit ago not a terrible head sculpt i actually kind of like it so that is cool to see right there i like the head sculpt i don't hate it you know it, it's a different expression compared to our you know our smiley head sculpt we got an elite 83 which is also a really good head we had those other heads in the ultimate edition as well but this edge figure is looking sick i love the white gear it's gonna look sick up next to randy orton i like this figure a lot but we are gonna have to fix him up but it was funny to see them have you know they photoshopped the back of the packaging to uh not include the square there so that was interesting let's move on to the next figure in the set that i think a lot of people are going to want to talk about it's going to be brett the hitman heart now we do have the chase edition which is going to be in the pink singlet with black tights and then you have the regular edition which is going to feature the black top with the pink tights now you guys know that brett hart is one of those guys that they can never really get right he does come with the black intercontinental championship a lot of people already crapping on this figure mock because they say he should have been holding the title Maybe the sunglasses on, you know, different things like that. I'm not a huge Brett the Hitman Hart guy, so I'm not going to rip it to shreds here. But I know a lot of people were digging at the head sculpt. They were digging at this, digging at that. It's a, I mean, it's a nice looking figure. Again, the head sculpt's not my favorite. You know, I, I just feel like it's really plain Jane. Doesn't really capture Bret Hart. It kind of looks like, you know, just a regular, you know, like if they were to put out Bret Hart like way back in the day, like in the 90s or something like that, I feel like that's kind of what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those head sculpts that it, it's, I guess it could be Bret Hart, but it's not one of those that's like, oh man, that's a damn good head sculpt, you know? And he's just one of those guys that they just seem to not be able to get right. You know, it's one of those guys they cannot get right for whatever reason. And I couldn't tell you why. I can't tell you why they can't get it right. But some of these comments were cracking me up. There was one comment in here. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Man said something like, can we ever get, are they ever going to do a, a Brett the Hitman heart that doesn't look like shit or something like that? It made me laugh so hard. There was facial technology, fears Brett. I mean, there's some really good comments on some of these posts. Matt Viviet, Matt Viviani, will there ever be a Brett? 
Brett that doesn't look like shit. LOL, they'll never nail Brett's head sculpt. I mean, they were giving this figure the, the shiz there. And, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I understand it completely. If, you know, one of my su favorite superstars wasn't ever getting a head sculpt that looks like him, it would bother me. I think I'd just go 3D print it, you know, just get somebody to... 3D print me one or customize it or something like that. There's some people out there that can make some mind-blowing things. But outside of Bret Hart and Edge, guys, we also have MSK here with Nash Carter and Wes Lee. And I like these figures a lot. I do not like the torso that we got for Wes Lee. You know, it is this little mock image here. But they look pretty good. You know, they got their... The arm's a bit weird on Wes Lee, the way it's bent. But uh, I think it looks good. I like the gear. I think the figure's going to be able to pose really well. We are getting this uh, this Nash Carter figure. A lot of people were commenting funny things in the comment section of this of this figure as well. But it looks like we're going to be getting the figure, so that'll be amazing. You know, hopefully it will be one of those figures that feels great in the hand. I can tell already by the formula that it will be. It's got double jointed arms. It's got ball joints. It's going to be a really interesting figure. And they went with the gear that I wanted them to go with. So this is beautiful. I think the part selection that we got is great. Outside of that torso for Wesley, I think that's kind of bummerific. However, the comments on this post were really funny as well. Let's dive into the next figure, which is going to be Stephanie McMahon in her Shaking My Head t-shirt. We have seen this figure. You guys know that it does come with the pointing hands, the infamous pointing hands. Remember when that photo that they posted from one of the events or something like that? Remember they posted and everybody was like, damn, that figure, that finger looks so long. So that is what we got here for Stephanie McMahon. And she does come with the Women's Championship. Looking pretty good here, you know, I, I like it, it's not a, it's an interesting figure, we have a flashback women's figure, and I think it'll go good on our shelves, we definitely need to see, possibly, not necessarily a re-release of the Defining Moments Triple H, because I think that figure is iconic in its history of Mattel, but at the same time, I feel like we may need some sort of Triple H from that era, whether it be in the Iron Cross trunks, maybe give us like a Wrestlemania you know, with both championships in those trunks, yelling head sculpt, I think that would be great. Maybe they could even do a third Ultimate Edition or something with Triple H and the titles and maybe the jacket or, or, or something like that. Or even give us just the jeans molded on the figure and give us that jacket to go with this Stephanie. Maybe that's something that they're working on for Elite 100 or Elite 99 or something like that to include a Triple H to go with this Stephanie McMahon. We'll have to see about that, but the Stephanie looks okay. We also have British Bulldog, who even commented on the figure itself, and he, he put out fire emojis, so he must like this figure. It is the Collector's Edition. Very similar to his Elite 39 figure, which we've discussed. You know, it's it's practically the same. You get a little bit of an update here and there. You do get your double-jointed arms. You get some cool things going on, but it's still not quite there. You know, it's, it's not nothing mind-blowing. It's the same head sculpt and stuff like that, but you know, uh, I, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to get their hands on this figure, and I love the packaging. I think the packaging does look sick for the collector's edition. You have your, like, purple marbling effect. He looks good in there. Kind of a jack torso, but I get it. I understand it. And then the last figure that we have to talk about is Mace, and I really don't want to even get into Mace. I mean, it like, this figure is an Elite Series 94. It feels like we saw Mace on TV just, like, six years ago. Does that, Retribution seems so long ago, man, and it is the middle of 2022. I just, I, I don't know, man. I do not know what's going to come of these. I don't know if they're going to shelf warm at retail when they get there. We haven't even seen T-Bar just yet get it to retail. Elite 93 hasn't hit just yet. We have seen Elite Series 92, but I'm interested to see how well Retribution does. I know a lot of Mia Yim's figure has shelf warmed from what I've seen when her figure hits retail, but I'm interested to see how Mace and T-Bar do when they get to retail. But that will be definitely worth noting. And, I mean, the figures do look cool. They look like badass characters. I just don't think they're characters that people want, I guess. But if you want somebody in there to kind of fill in, maybe you can make his WWE career better than the way it played out in real life. That would be something to do there. But I don't know. It's just, it, every time I see a Retribution-related figure, it just puts me off because I'm like, God, I hated that that, that right there was Monday Night Raw was abysmal to watch. I mean, like, good lord, every week it was just something crazy and wacky and something that I could not get behind. So that's what I think of. But there's Elite Series 94. Very interesting takes there. What do you guys think of the Chase Bret Hart? Do you think the head sculpt's any good? I definitely do not. I, I just don't see Bret Hart in there. But I think there's some gems in this set. I'm very much looking forward to Elite 94 Edge. Because we're going to fix him up. We're going to have him in surgery. We're going to do some cool torso swaps. We could even put another head sculpt on there. I don't know. We'll play around with it. I definitely don't care about the jacket. The jacket is terrible. But you know that is what it is. But anyways guys, that is what I have to cover in this video. I wanted to break down these images that we got dropped on us. I think we should have a banger dropping tomorrow, so definitely be on the lookout.
out for it, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Before we get out of here, we do have to get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to JRE Pickfed, who says, Your brother, when he sees his sign on the floor, you cross the line, Bradley. Referring to yesterday where we did our updated little display tour there of the room, man. So definitely go check that video out. I greatly appreciate it. And that was a funny comment that made me chuckle. So I wanted to give a shout-out to JRE Pickfed. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a blessed day. And uh, don't, uh, y y you know the rules, with all due respect. You cross